Hide waifu. Look how she's so pretty. God, her design is awful for a uh, war general or a priestess. But in general, she's so pretty. Good luck in the competition. So, what are you doing out here, Kokomi? Taking in the view? Yes. The soothing sound of the ocean's waves do make me feel peaceful. But I actually came here hoping to see what. I forgot Island. how soft spoken she is. Huh? In a while since we Can you ever her. see Watatsumi Island from here? Let Paimon take a look. Oh, hey, Koro's here. When did you get here, buddy? <laughs> well, can you see it? Let's Ima? see. Uh, oh, that must be Kanazuka. And a little further than that, there's Yashiori Island. Mm, nope, can't see Watatsumi. Even on a perfectly clear day like this, you can't see Watatsumi Island from Narukami Island. Imagine trying to see I know people lost their minds when by storms. it was first revealed by local amuse terms now. Her voice is really soothing. It is nice. I just kind of forgot how soft-spoken she was. Even when friends argue, and like how high-pitched. time to reconcile. Think of how but yeah, yeah, yeah. When the conflicting sides could never even see each other. <laughs> you okay, Kokomi? Oh, See, this is where it's like I know some people My take issue, blah blah blah. Like if you ever see chance topics. and to argue about it a lot, but it's like I like the English case. Like honestly, fair though. We don't really see a lot of her anymore. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I wasn't complaining about her voice. I just kind of forgot it sounded like that. We haven't seen her in a minute, you know. You're competing for other reasons too. Yes, I thought you might understand. Huh? Like, her design what is so pretty. About? Who wins and who loses isn't what's most important. What's important is that her excellency like, I want her all of for her watching. healing capabilities. Yes, more people will be traveling between Like, I know, Watatsumi um, for a while, she wasn't, Island like, most forward. meta character, whatever, and I was like, I don't care. I, hope to yeah, I want her. <laughs> I've yet to be able to pull <laughs> I know the one time she was on, um, Lumps got her twice in one pool or something like that, or he got him back to back. It's like, I fucking hate you because I just <laughs> lost her teeth. <laughs> and I remember hearing how, like, people harassed her perfect. Yeah, I hate when they do that. Like, you don't have to like the character, but don't take it out on the voice actor. Like, it's not their fault. No? Me <laughs> too. It's like, yeah, especially like when it's when it's a character people don't like and they go after him. It's like, I know people, I've heard of people going after Dory's VA. It's like, it's not the voice actor's fault that Dory's a shit character. Like, don't take it out on them. And then even when it's a character that they like and stuff, it's like, don't, don't be fucking, are you serious right now? It drives me insane. So awful. Honestly, it is. It's like, yeah, you don't have to like a character. You don't take it out on the actor, though. It's not the actor's fault. Like, they're just doing what they're paid to do. Using a simple game of cards to drive major social change. Yes, that's a good way to put it. I don't really like the ability to behave like this. Has always been in and say, but it's on post from awful way. To play yeah, honestly. So you have your personal reasons to Like, it's you. like, if you like a character and you want to go see their fee 8 <laughs> great. Yes, like, that's me. why, um, <laughs> the, the joke in the title and stuff is because Sayu's going to be nearby and all that stuff. Like, I have, I told you about that, right? So it's like, uh, that's, that's where yes. it's like, yeah, I'd like to meet him, but it's it like, that you're not the there's, only at the end of the day, there's still, as a chance to resolve our they still have their own excellency. thoughts and feelings oh, and, yeah, you did. <laughs> Don't worry, Paimon. Um, I don't think Hadris realizes that I'm alive. I know Q match. isn't around right now. We're wow. safe. It's fine. <laughs> really looking forward to the final now. And, and it's like, yeah, it's some, some of the things that people put, like, the, the pedal stools no and stuff what, that people put voice actors on. Like, if it's characters that they like, they expect the voice actor to do this, that, and the others, and if they don't, they get mad. It's like, no, that's not fair. Like, and if they don't like the character when they go after the voice actor, it's not the voice actor's fault that the character's not a good character. Like... Honestly, the way some people... I get getting super attached to a character. Because that's something that I'll do too. Like... And I get um, really admiring someone for their profession. Or liking the roles that they they perform in and stuff. But when you start 
attributing characteristics that aren't there or you start making problems that don't exist like so what if a, a character you know kills a puppy you don't go after the voice actor for you know animal cruelty because that's something that's written in a story it's just it's fiction it's a story you know that's how it works people think they uh because the end because they didn't like the voice but doesn't have control of the voice direction a fantastic job it is job what more do you want yes exactly don't suit exactly yeah 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 I do remember, yeah, I remember seeing parts of that, too, and it's like, oi. And that's where, ugh, I don't know. It, I hate it. I hate it. And that's where, also, like, when people disrespect VAs, it's in the same vein. Like, um, I love Chance the Bits, but she's got this thing where she gets, uh, really... uppity, the word I want? She gets really, um, weird when it comes to, like, English voice acting. And it's like, you don't have to like the uh, industry. Oh, so I showed up at the right time. You did! Hi, honey. I love you. No, see, that's what I was about to say, though. I'm still making this point, dear. Like, <laughs> like you don't have to like the industry. And you don't have to like the voice direction stuff. But you can't take it out on the voice actors. Like, like it's not their fault. They're just doing their jobs. <laughs> you showed up at the perfect time. I've got this thing where I keep summoning people at the perfect times, apparently. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, we're talking about, like, the voice acting and stuff. Part of their job is the direction. No, part of their job is following direction. They don't get to control that. Like, unless they are the one who is actually in charge of that, they follow direction. They don't get to control it. And that aside, it's like... <laughs> I'm surprised you showed up, though. I know you don't like it. Or, like, you don't show up super often to actually, like, listen in because I play in English. Hi! Hello! <laughs> but, yeah, no, we're just talking about, like, the voice acting and stuff right now. Like, um, how people, when they, like, harass voice actors for things that are out of the voice actor's control, how it's not right. Like, when people harass, you know, a VA because they don't like the character or they don't like whatever. Like, you don't have to take it out on the voice actor just because of the character, you know? It's not the voice actor's fault. It is and it isn't, in my opinion. You know that Hoyo's Barber VA? I don't believe they should get harassed. Well, English voiceover is mixed directing. It does fall in. It's, I think it depends because unless you're actually on the job, who are you to say what they have control over, you know? Like, if they can put in suggestions or they can get away with things, I feel like that's, that's one thing. Like, I know um, on some jobs, they will say, yeah, they let me, you know, do this or do that. Like, um, then if you go back and watch some of the clips from when he streamed, the Parade of Providence. He's like, yeah, I'm surprised they let me get away with this delivery and this and that. Like, they, I feel like they have limited control, but it is, if you're not in that, you know, that session, who are you to say what they have control over, you know? I know some jobs are definitely way stricter than others. And then it's like, just from what I do hear, listening to like, like Sayu, because like if I watch Sayu when he starts talking about it, like some jobs are going to be way stricter on what they want than other jobs do, you know? And if you've got a good voice actor and they're allowed to have more control over what's going on, you can tell there's a difference too, because like you can see it in like dubs and stuff. If you watch something with the, you know, the VA and then you watch something else with the VA and how one performance can be much better than the other. We don't necessarily know what they have control over in that setting, you know? So, like, even a voice actor that you know can do a really good job and you really admire their work. You can watch them be really bad at a role and go, what happened? Because it's like, if the voice director said, this is what I want, and that's what they had to give, you know? The passion is shown in the other depths. There's passion in this, too, though. That's what I... 
See, this is exactly what I mean when I said I'll argue with you. <laughs> yeah, the other ones have passion, but it's it comes down to voice direction. You can't say these people aren't passionate about their characters. <laughs> Especially depending on, like, what it is and stuff. Because I'll keep up with... I'm honestly the only good voice in the English up. Uh, no, I will fight you. <laughs> like, these these people are passionate. Especially if you, um... You, you can see what when they're passionate about it. Ayu loves his characters. He adores them. Erica has gone out of her way to get permission to do things as Fenty. To show how much she loves. Like... They'll, they'll sit there and, like, when they do, um, like, Among Us streams, because they want to show the community that they love the game as much as the community loves them. And they want to be, you know, on good terms and friendly and stuff. Like, you can't say that they don't have passion and they don't love their their characters and stuff. I really can't support the English dub fam. See, that's exactly what I mean, though. Like, that's what, what I mean in terms of, like, you don't have to support it, but don't be disrespectful about it. And that's what I mean when I say that. Like, if you don't want to listen to English, that's your prerogative. And that's fair. Like, some people just don't like English subs. That's perfectly valid. Do not be respect disrespectful to voice actors, though. Do not tell me that they do not love their characters and that they are not passionate. And that they don't put in the work and the effort. That's when I get upset. Like, if you don't like a dub, that's perfectly valid. And you don't have to, like, you do you, you know? Like, sometimes I prefer, like, like if I'm watching an anime, I preferred watching Assassination Classroom in Japanese over English. But I still thought the English cast did a good job. Like, at least I don't harass them. Yeah, and that's kind of what started the conversation, was talking about, um, like, harassment stuff. Like, harassing the voice actors is just, that's crossing a line. You shouldn't be anywhere near. You shouldn't go after someone for doing their job. Like, that's just not fair in any, any way. Anyway, I, I'm just like, I, I, I will get off this. <laughs> I'm not even like, do I technically have a uh, like a stand on here? I don't know. I don't. Hi. Okay. Um, I've got some Gatorade. I've got some water, but. Got a bottle of Gatorade that I've been drinking the last three days, so I should probably punish this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Gatorade sounds...